been a pretty tough week here, but uh, made the time to get this done. There'll be a dedicated video at some point, but here's the state of my garage now. Uh, the maker space is almost complete. Resin printers, the CNC is up. Uh, still have to play with it. The lathe is all set. Uh, working good, actually. I've been playing with that a little bit. Both laser cutters and keeping the TS2 here. This is pretty awesome. And then I'll add a Pi there. My laptop and this one just is for YouTube videos. It just has a Chromecast. And all my material storage. I added all this floor yesterday and pretty happy with it. Well, I already had my first tile get broken. I dropped, uh, it was actually an inflatable boat from up there to the ground and it had a pump in it, a plastic air pump. And it must have caught the corner and smashed straight through. Uh, that's definitely too easy. So although I really love the look of how this shop came out, uh, this is already two days later and I've had my first break. So I'm gonna need my spares. And yeah, it's a don't buy for me, sadly. Sure do love the look of this though. A little remote control surgery tonight. Uh, the pads on this wore out years ago. The conductivity of them just basically went to zero on the, the commonly used ones. So I finally got myself one of these pad replacement kits and it's just a bunch of spare pads and I just used a tiny tiny bit of super glue just dollar store super glue and accelerator and yep, should be good to go those two are new and that one's new to get these you just search uh, IR remote conductive pads and you'll find all kinds of them uh, out of China slow boat them I think this was about four dollars Canadian so yeah, it did the trick. It should be pretty good. And we can uh, save this remote. These things are pricey to get your hands on, and there's nothing wrong with this old receiver. So, cool. Well, a huge package arrived. You guys might remember Strange Beacon's YouTube channel. A uh, fellow by the name of Kurt, a friend of mine. Uh, he was getting out of the hobby and sent me a whole huge care package of his electronics projects and I'm a little sad to receive it to be honest but it's a really nice gesture thank you Kurt I couldn't be happier with all of this I haven't even begun to go through it all uh, some really neat projects this looks like is he made a cell phone out of an Arduino Uno this is a, a sim card module and I'm guessing this is to remind this is the well, this is just normal layout why that's there just <laughs> for visual maybe but he also sent me his war games uh, simulator for the the whopper really cool with an oled and even a copy of war games the movie these and 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 the original book but yeah uh, there's all kinds of goodies here so we'll try and put them to work in some future projects and I have a good friend who's in need of some of these parts, so I'm gonna help him out with some parts, hopefully. And yeah, pretty cool. Thanks, Kurt. This is uh, really nice of you. It came at a really good time where I was a little down in the dumps and it showed up just at the right time to give me a smile. Fun stuff. I'm gonna go through this tonight. Back to the workbench tonight. We have quadcopter. If you've been around on the channel a while, you'll remember this one. This is the Red October build. Uh, it's a 210 quad, just standard F4, I think this is an Omnibus F4 flight controller, RXSR uh, with telemetry FR Sky radio system and 5.8 gigahertz for the radio, uh, for the video, I should say. But uh, I did one of these, this is one of the dipped frames and it came out pretty cool. Uh, it's time to bring that back. I, don't, I never fly it anymore. Um, I've been favoring my new Crossfire setup. So it's time to give it Crossfire long range radio system. Switch the FPV around. This is a horrible way to mount an antenna. We'll do the Immortal T 900 megahertz uh, antenna and We'll do one of these uh, that I got off the of Thingiverse. We'll mount that. And then the SMA can 
go right there. And that should be pretty cool. And we'll swap out these. I think they're a really old dowel prop. They're not very good. This style, uh, almost the same, but uh, different material and they seem to fly better. So yeah, we'll see. Uh, it's a good little quad. It's time to bring it back and uh, put it back into rotation. Old, old equipment, like ancient old Emacs red bottoms, but uh, it works good. Why not, right? It's paid for and uh, it's fun to fly. That is all there is to it. That's our Crossfire Nano wired up. Uh, I didn't even take the time to look up which one is RX and TX on here. Truthfully, like I don't, it doesn't even matter. I can just go ahead and solder them up. And if it doesn't work, I'll just flip them. Uh, it's faster than even looking it up. Uh, you don't have to be scared with this stuff. Um, if you're new to FPV or interested in getting into it, it can be kind of daunting because it looks like you're diffusing a bomb here sometimes. But that's not the case at all. It's super, super easy. Other than power and ground, you really can't hurt anything. Most things are pretty tolerant, so you, like the RX and the TX here, super simple. And uh, yeah, we're all set. So hook the antenna up and put it in. I don't know what the total was, maybe half an hour or so. And we're now ready to go. Uh, nice new dowel props. I swapped out to this new Speedy B antenna. We'll see how that works for our video. Uh, I seem to be having good luck with them. Our Mortal T out back here, which will be just perfect. Uh, our crossfire receiver just sitting there for now until I bind it and make sure it works. I printed this on the Ender 3 and check out how awesome the Ender is doing for TPU. Isn't that cool? And this is like five-year-old filament too. I dried it out in the Sane Smart dryer and it's incredible. It's just beautiful. I am so pleased with that. Uh, yeah, anyway, and uh, run cam an older Swift of some form in there and a good camera with a GoPro lens. So yeah, this thing gets a new lease on life. This is ready to bomb around this winter. And if I dump it in the snow, so be it. I, I really love the look of it. Pretty happy with that. That's going to be a fun little quad again. And all the bearings are good in the motors. Uh, these Emax red bottoms take a they take a shit kicking, <laughs> and they, I've only ever had one fail. So yeah, pretty cool. A few little things to tidy up in the shop today, but I thought I'd show you guys around. Check this out. This is the current state of the maker space. With the floor done, some more signage up. All the lighting is done. I'm super happy with it. Uh, the 3D printing station is fully functional. CNC is yes, still yet to be tested, but the laser station is all functional. And now that I got the floor done, I don't have the dust problems in here. So I don't have to keep everything covered up. I'm not getting any dust on my laser cutters, uh, hardly at all, just a little bit because I was actually working in here yesterday, but nothing to speak of. So as long as I don't make too much of a mess in here with the CNC and stuff, should be fine. Pretty cool, eh? I'm pretty happy with how things have come along. Sort of got things shoved to the back. The snowblower will go out. It's gonna be snowing here pretty soon. And then I'll have that space, get the bike up on the wall. And uh, yeah, I got all this space and got myself a new stool for the TSC and I'm all set. If you guys have any ideas on additions or changes to the shop, I'm all ears. I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, it's the space I always wanted, so we're getting there. Oh, one today, there's uh, parts for the new quadcopter build. This is for the Team Black Sheep $30 frames I ordered from Get FPV, And these will be motor mounts and protectors for the, oh, look at how awesome that turned out. Incredible. And uh, this is our uh, FPV video antenna mount, as well as our 900 megahertz downlink for our radio and then skid protectors for the bottom. Just beautiful. 
Happy with that. And parts to upgrade. Next quadcopter. Damn, that does a nice job. And that, that's what we're left with when the support peels off. And it just, it peels off super, super easy. And oh, so happy with that. A little tiny bit rough here from the supports, but the rest is just spotless. Wow. That's going to work really nice for that old quadcopter. That'll get that thing back and back in good shape and we can finally use a, a session or a run cam with it. How cool is that?